about the 1960s yes, rising right. 100 years ago. My first memory was always of that year. I was when my sister was born. I was back in home, Emmett Hall. That's important because it means we were beside the British Army. <laughs> yeah, right. And was under watch all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything remember about your father? Okay, My mother didn't speak about him. Yeah. Um, I remember quite a lot about the time we were in Skerries. All the people in 1916 mm -hmm. were gathered together down there. It was arranged uh, we should be together. So I met a lot of people probably met Muriel, you know, the the lady who died down there swimming. See, because I was able to give them some information about that. That'll be 1917. I think it's July. All right. There, I remember Miss Fierce <laughs> waiting me around in a chair. And <laughs> it's the first really clear sentence I heard from Miss Pierce, Polly Pierce's sister, and what she said was, does anybody know where Miss Labrady is? I got another sentence from that time. The Grace girl, I thought it was girls, it was Grace Gifford, mm -hmm. uh, ran after them. Mm -hmm. uh, took me a while to find out what that was. It was important in a way because there was a drowning case. The wife of one of the uh, uh, people who was executed, mm -hmm. Gifford, Muriel Gifford, <coughs> she, she was trying to swim to an island. Mm -hmm. Why? We had been on that island. We'd all gone over together. It was dangerous, but we did it all right. Uh, the water had to be very careful because the tides there are very big, not like Hong Kong. And so we had to hurry back. Then those two things come together because what she was doing was putting the police, that's the British police, the <coughs> RIC, they had snatched the Irish flag that was put up. It was illegal to do it, of course. <laughs> there. And she chased after her to get back. And it was then that the other, it was Grace Gifford, ran after them. And then Muriel she decided she was going to put the flag on a place they'd find it hard to get. And that was on the island, the Shellac Island, and she was swimming to that. I thought she drowned, it wasn't drowning. I was seemingly, her heart gave out. She was a good swimmer, all right. My brother is supposed to have uh, brought the alarm when she disappeared, when this Muriel disappeared. And then they got a boat, went after. She was found later, not drowned. They took it that her heart had given out. Now these all come from uh, my very early memories.
Well, they made it a very big thing because there were a lot of people alive at that time. One of them now, her name was on a, uh, on a bridge there, mm. Rosie Hackett. See? So, so that was a gathering of people who were in that, including my own relatives, of course, so I, but there are none of them left now. I'm the only one, you see. Yeah. And I've read Ronan uh, Fanning's book, Fatal Path, twice. It was given to me by a man who escaped from criminal prison years ago. And according to Simon McCool, you would know that, the word, whose book I have up in my room. I am well up in what's been going on. We had to keep 1916 very secretive, of course, because everything would be leaked out and the opposite side would be alerted. <laughs> they were really caught up uh, on the words. <laughs> the army's down in the current of that when the whole thing happens. take over the whole thing and do it locally. Do it locally. Keep the government out. Mm -hmm. It would be unwise for me to uh, say something there. Uh, I would not like to be present. It was a government thing. My closing remarks will be, I've got so much in the way of information about the, that period. I don't think the handling of things has been good. It's been poor. It's very secretive. We don't know what's happening. Nothing out, and it's getting on late now. I certainly should not come in on this, except that I disagree with various things with the present government. Not political things, but other things as well. Laws making, they're, they're not really ha handing on a good tradition well. None are doing well. Uh, and the way the, uh, that thing was put on the um, video or pl some places and switched off immediately was really an insult to a lot of people, they're not handling things well. So it's up to the, uh, the those relatives in 1916, maybe go in for local days. You know, you have control over these, but you don't have control over what's fixed by the government. <laughs>